Hello my friends, this is Wake Angel 2001 coming at you with a review of the figure that I'm pretty sure you were looking forward to a lot more than the Ball Hog review. It is the Sonic 3 Movie Shadow Figure, this time in 5 inch scale. Yes, this is one of the most difficult figures to find from Wave 1 because, well you know, it's Shadow the Hedgehog. Um, so the back of the box has his character description. Uh, it's, um, <clears throat> Shadow is a fierce and mysterious foe who is determined to accomplish his goals and won't let anything stand in his way. Uh, yep, 22 points of articulation. Sonic, Tails, and Ro Ivo Robotnik are the other figures for the wave. Uh, we already know what's going to be in the second wave. It's going to have, um, it's going to have, a uh, uh, Knuckles, um, a version of Tails with a Chow mascot costume head, um, um, a, a re-release of Shadow because I'm guessing everybody couldn't get the first Shadow. And then, uh, is it gonna... You know what? I don't remember the order. I'll just show pictures. Anyway, let's get Shadow out of the packaging so we can see if this toy holds up as well as the others from this wave. And here is Shadow out of the packaging. Um, and he holds up just as well as Sonic and Tails did with the massive amounts of articulation. Um... There is but one flaw that I am willing to diagnose right, right off the bat. Uh, so, on his face, he has the same gimmick that the other figures in this wave have where uh, the eyes appear to follow you depending on, on how you face the figure. Uh, the problem is, you probably see right here, the iris and pupil isn't painted all the way up to the edge of the eye. It very notably cuts off. So, you know, it just doesn't look right. I mean, if you look, like, the effect works. Like, it really looks like his eyes are following the camera as I turn his head. It's just that if you turn them too far, all of a sudden it completely breaks the illusion. Even though the eye is still following you, it doesn't look like an eye anymore. And that's not something I can correct because there's a layer of plastic on top of it. So, yeah, that, that sucks. However, that's basically the only flaw. Like, the... The textured sculpting for the more realistic movie fur is is immaculate. The paint job is super crisp everywhere else. Little tiny flaw there on the forehead, but it just makes it look a little bit more natural. Um, look at those shoes. The detailing is out of this world. It looks amazing. And the inhibitor rings on this figure look a lot more like shackles than they do in the game. In, in the game itself, they just kind of look like uh, jewelry. But here, they actually look like something that's, that was once used to bind him. Um, okay, let's do the articulation breakdown. Head is ball jointed, so it can do all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, I love, I love his, his disaffected sneer. You're a colorful bunch. Uh, shoulders have the butterfly joints and a universal um, shoulder, although it is ratcheted, so I feel like I feel like this shouldn't have been ratcheted. This should have just been like a regular pin disc, because uh, yeah, it, it has. I guess it has several click points, but I feel like there's really only three between as far down as it goes and T posing. So yeah, I, I feel like they, there was no need for ratchet here. That it should have been more like the elbow joint. The elbow joint is uh, just a nice almost Figma style joint. Um, there is a bicep swivel and a proper wrist with a hinge so the hand can go up and back a little bit. The fingers are also hinged. Uh, it's the kind where you can have it in a holding pose and that looks good. A fist that also looks good. When you open it up, that's when it starts to look weird. Like these things do not do, from certain angles I suppose it can look okay, but like yeah, like, that does not look like a natural pose for a hand to be in. Like, tr try to bend just the last knuckle of your finger without bending the other two knuckles. That's just, that's just unnatural. Um, the, there is a, a waist joint, kind of, yeah, it, it's mostly a swivel, though it does get a little bit of abular crunch. Uh, hips, ball jointed, just like Sonic and Tails. Decent range, and they even have, it's like the, those ratcheted ball joints, so that's, that's something. There is, stop hitting the camera, Angel. There is a thigh swivel, a knee that gets a really deep bend. Uh, nice paint job. And uh, there is foot articulation. It can, it can go in and out. It can go forward and backwards. You know, like, like these figures, 
like seriously way more articulated than they need to be like it's it's not only one of the most articulated this is not only one of the most articulated sonic lines ever made it's one of the most articulated lines that i've ever messed with like these figures are way more poseable than they really needed to be it's really quite impressive Okay, so real quick, before I talk about anything else, I wanted to address the motorcycle shadow figure. Uh, this is another figure that's coming with the motorcycle that we saw in the trailer. And um, I don't have one in hand, but I've seen pictures of it online in high resolution. It appears to be the same size, but um, the art it, it doesn't have the following eye gimmick. It just has painted eyes. And um, it seems to... Like, it seems to still have really good articulation. Like, it has the articulation that the 4-inch figures had. Um, it's, in fact, slightly better, because I think it still has the articulated fingers. So, like, the articulation is... It doesn't have the butterfly shoulders, and I think it doesn't have the thigh swivels, but it still seems to be a pretty good figure. Um, it seems to me that it could be a decent substitute... The only difference is, the, the only major difference would be the eye thing. But then I think some people might prefer it because um, I've, I've seen in the comments that not a lot of people like the eye following gimmick that these figures have. And um, like I said, on this one, it's kind of messed up. So yeah, like some people might prefer the motorcycle shadow. Uh, or maybe you might even like to get the motorcycle shadow so you could pop its head off and stick it on this body. If it's possible. I, don't, I never actually physically messed with that figure, so I don't know if they have compatible joints. We'll find, I guess we'll find out later on when someone gets that figure in hand and tries it themselves. Um, uh, but, you know, let's compare it to figures that actually are from the wave. Remember, uh, with Sonic, his eyes are actually painted properly. This should be how shadows were painted. Um, but, yeah, like, these figures, they, they, uh, they actually look pretty darn good together. Um, again, like, aside from the way the eyes are painted and the fact that, um, they, that these figures, like, five-inch Sonic figures don't really scale with anything aside from other five-inch Sonic figures, um, it looks pretty fantastic. Uh, engineering-wise, this might seriously be one of the best Sonic the Hedgehog toy lines ever created. Um, I would, you know, like, I would happily have accepted these figures at a four-inch scale, but I guess they figured... Uh, if they were the same scale, and you know, people wouldn't get them, I guess, because they'd already had the first movie toys, whatever. Uh, still, like, I wish we had some way of getting a four-inch movie shadow. Like, the motorcycle figure could have been four inches tall. I would have, that would have made me buy the motorcycle set. Uh, but whatever. Um, hopefully, uh, when Wave 2 comes out, we'll get a chance to see Knuckles and the other figures that are in this line. And, um, they'll all have the same quality as this. Uh, so, um... Thank you all for watching the video. This is Wake Angel 2001 signing off.